Hello everyone, as we already know ChatGPT is already on the market for some time and what I'm going to do in this video is to go ahead and try to create an automation framework with the help of ChatGPT. Also please note that this was recorded back in December 2022 so it's possible that you might get different results or information depending on when you are watching this. As of now it's free to use and of course it has a lot of advantages which I hope we can find in this video at least from a programming or automation point of view. But it also has some limitations, mainly about the data. The model is not trained with the most recent or live data. And it was trained on data from before quarter 4 2021, so some of the answers, especially the technical ones, may be deprecated. Depending on the number of users, you need to wait before it becomes available, or you might experience some slow response time or network errors which can be caused also by client side. I will also mention that at this point at least the answer you get back from ChatGPT must also be reviewed by someone with expertise. Also if you are interested in finding more details about automation or IT in general, you can find extended tutorials on my channel, so please have a look. Those being said, let's get started. The first request is kind of generic and is to create a C-sharp automation framework for web applications. We are given back some popular options like Selenium and Unit and Specflow. And also we get a simple test. In setup a Chrome driver instance is created. In test it opens a page and checks the page title. And at the end in the teardown driver quit is called. Next is to include actions like click and send keys. And the test is being updated. Here we get some comments. There is the click action and the send keys interaction. We also get some recommendations to handle the test case when elements are not found on the page. Next is to improve the setup and teardown methods. In setup method we get some best practices. Set the path to the Chrome driver exe file. Add Chrome options to start maximized. And set the implicit weight. In teardown it handles any exceptions that may rise when calling driver quit. Next is to move setup and teardown in a test based class. As we can see setup method is moved to test based. And also teardown. And here we get a sample of test classes inheriting the test base. The next request is again kind of generic and is to include HTML reports. First option is report unit, which was replaced by extendreport.net CLI. But at the end we are also told we can use other tools like extend reports or Allure. Okay, next request is to include Allure reporting. Allure Commons is deprecated, but we are also being told about Allure and Unit and Allure command line. And at the end it's mentioned that in order to generate HTML reports we have to run Allure command line and to call Allure serve. Next we want to replace Allure reports with extend reports. We get this new extend reports static variable. Next 
Then we get a new attribute one time setup where we attach extend HTML reporter. In tear down it takes the test status and set it in the report together with the stack trace and error message. And in one time teardown it writes the report to the disk. And as we can see the message is interrupt here. Next request is to take a screenshot on test failure. And probably because of the previous message cut, we are losing the one-time setup and one-time teardown together with the extend report implementation. But there is the code for this request. It takes a screenshot and save it as a PNG file. Next, we want to make sure test base supports parallel execution. Here we are told to make sure the shared resources like web driver to be trace safe. It's using a thread local of type iWebDriver. And it's assigning the new Chrome driver object to driver value. And the rest is similar. Instead of using driver object, is using driver dot value. Again, the message stops, but let's try and request this again. It seems that we are no longer using driver value and we are using a driver variable or property which probably is caused by the previous interruption. Next request is to update the existing method to be data driven. We are told we can use the test case attribute together with multiple sets of data. So in this sample we get three sets of data running the same test and in total we have three executions. Then we want to improve this and to get the data from a JSON file. As you can see, the test case attribute is replaced by test case source, which has as parameter that method name which gets the data, and the test method signature remains the same. Here we have the get test data implementation. It reads all the text and deserializes it to a list of test case data. And below we find the test case data model, which has two properties, search query and expected title. Next request is to replace an unit with X unit. And we get the list of changes we need to do. And also the test method is refactored to use X unit. So we need to install XUnit package to replace an unit usings with XUnit usings. To replace an unit attributes like test with XUnit attributes like fact or test case source with member data. All right, so this is pretty good. We have implemented this framework in under 10 minutes. And of course there are some things which need to be adapted or refactored, but the final product can do the work or can be used as a starting point. Time for some conclusions. 
This may be a little overwhelming, especially if this is your first time using ChatGPT or any AI tools. Asking the right question usually gives back the right solution, or if the question is too generic, in most of the cases we get back multiple options from which we can go further down the road. As of now, some of the solutions need to be reviewed or slightly adapted in order to make them work. There are so many possibilities where we can use the AI, this is just like one use case. And of course, I also think the world is going to change a lot in the near future and we need to embrace this and to be prepared for it. What's next? There is Microsoft with ChatGPT with Bing integration. And of course, there is also Google with Bard, which has been under development for some years and is expected to be released soon. The AI will be integrated in products that we use daily, like search, web browsers or development tools. And in general, we expect to see more from the other big tech companies also. I hope you have enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.